Hey Chris, just wanted to make a quick video to show you how to set your shipping for uh, the different products that you're selling. If you log into the dashboard through Shopify and you come down here to settings, it'll bring you over to a second menu, one of which is shipping. If you click on shipping, it brings up your shipping rates. Now one thing I want to point out because of the type of the account we have you set up with, um, if you want to do carrier calculated shipping, um, kind of on the fly, we're going to need to upgrade your plan. Right now I don't think that's necessary because what you're able to do is, is set shipping rates here and you can define them for different states. So because we don't have that many products and we know pretty closely what the weight's going to be, I would say we just adjust those um, as needed. And let me show you how to do that. Right here I have two um, shipping methods set up, standard and heavy. Heavy is 7 to 50 and standard is 0 to 5. Well, unfortunately that leaves a, a two pound window here where you know nothing falls into. So we want to change this from uh, 0 to 7. So if I click on standard shipping, it'll open the options up and we'll say 0 to 7. But now, if you continue to scroll down, see right here is uh, shipping price. If you want to adjust the rates for different states, so say somebody orders 0 to 7 pounds but it's going to Alabama and you want to add $3, then you would plug it in here and it would calculate over here, this is their final rate, our 750 base price plus our adjustment of $3. So I'm gonna leave that alone for now. But what I su would suggest you do is, as you, you decide what method you're gonna use to ship the Hope Tracks, um, go through here and, and adjust those as need be. And then just click Save when you're done. Um, same thing with heavy goods. Right now that's set up to anywhere from seven to 50. Maybe we'll change this to seven to 500. I mean, if someone wants to order 500 pounds worth of Hope Tracks, you know, maybe we don't charge them more than $30 shipping. I don't know, worth considering. So when you're done, go ahead, scroll down, click Save, and scroll back up. So again, click on Back to Admin. Here's the dashboard you'll see when you log in. Click on Settings. Click on Shipping. And then you can make your adjustments here. Thanks.